Take a look at this. Well, well. Now here's a fine haul. Great. Let's do this one Ron Getsy style, guys. Eye of newt and mushroom spore. Tender parts of prickle bore. I knew this would be big. What a treasure. <laughs> Show them how Ifreed's crew can sail. But only one of them. Are you okay? Are you feeling sick again or something? I found something else in the book. The Omega Elixir was originally concocted as a way to cure the 12 year sickness. The 12 year sickness? An incurable disease. Every 12 days, you break out in a fever. Each fever is just a bit worse than the one before it. And when you turn 12, you die. That's just like what Luffy had. Fidel, you're not saying... My symptoms are an exact match. And, well, my 12th birthday is coming up. Fidel, don't worry. I'll get you the other ingredients. We can make the Omega Elixir together. It's no use. There's no way you can get them all in time. And even if you did, I'm not sure I could actually make the Omega Elixir. We can do it. When there's a will, there's a way. Easy for you to say. You're not the one who's sick here. You get to travel across the world. You get to see all kinds of incredible things. Fidel. Just go. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to anybody right now. Mm. Laffy said you don't have to feel so bad. It's okay. Thanks, Eleanor. But Videl's right. I hadn't even considered his point of view. But you were just trying to be nice. Well, even if he doesn't want me to interfere with him, I still want to make that Omega Elixir. He's a friend, and he's in pain. I want to help him. Yeah, you're right. I'll help you out too. Keep basking in them sunshine and rainbows, kids. But as far as anyone knows, there's not one case in all of recorded history of anyone who has it surviving. How does it progress? It's incredibly rare, only caught by children. Nobody knows how they get it. Some people think they're born with it. Might even be a curse. Symptoms are certainly weird enough. A fever every 12 days, just like Luffy. Did he have the 12 year sickness too? Did Artorius know that when he decided to sacrifice Luffy? Was there never any hope to save him at all? Was he doomed to die at age 12? That's... that's too much to... <sighs>
Boil oysters in the cloisters. Oh, got another letter for you, Eisen. Okay. Maybe it's from your sister this time. You want to read it? Me? Uh... Please, allow me. Now then. Your cruelty knows no bounds. You bring deep sadness to a fair maiden's heart with each passing day. Repent or else I'll be forced to intervene. This is your final warning. And that's it. Wow, this person sounds really mad. Aizen, what did you go and do to make the fair maiden cry? I don't know, but I could try a couple things on you. Ooh, excuse me if I forget to be scared. The letter mentions a fair maiden. Do you think it refers to your sister? What? Oh, you could be onto something. She must be lonely so far away from her brother. It sounded like she's pretty fond of you. Hmm. Are you suggesting that Aizen's sister wrote these letters? I mean, they're certainly unusual, but... My sister wouldn't write something like this. Then maybe it's someone who's spending a lot of time around her. Like, oh, a man whose shoulder she cries on. Damnation, Magilu! My sister doesn't have any guy clinging on to her! Do you know something I don't? Prove it! Bring him here, right now! Calm down, Aizen. No one's saying that. But if you're really that worried... Why don't you go see her? <sighs> Have you... not done that since you left? I did go back once, a long time ago. But as soon as I showed up, a crowd started to gather. Overcome by malevolence, they turned into demons and attacked my sister then and there. Do you think it's your fault that happened? What do you think? I'd moved us to a safe place. Low in malevolence and high up a rugged mountainside. So much for coincidence. I haven't gone back to see her since. Changing topics. I know I said these Nordals were a little off, but I think I'm starting to see that as part of their appeal. Huh? My point is, no matter how odd it might be, any gift could make a girl happy if it's given from the heart. Ha. <laughs> Sorry. You can't have one.
Next weekend is Bunny Bonanza Saturday. Bunny Bonanza Saturday? What's that? I've heard of this. You eat a hearty, healthy meal of rabbit meat to help you get nice and strong. You eat rabbits? No, silly. The night of the third Saturday of every month, lonely people go to sleep hugging a rabbit. Huh. If you go to sleep with a fuzzy friend in your arms, you're sure to have good dreams. No, I'm sure I heard that you eat them, too. You must be thinking of Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. There's a Saturday for Rat Pigs, too? Yep. On the night of the third Saturday of every month, people who aren't lonely eat Rat Pigs to get nice and strong. Makes sense. Rat Pigs are great sources of nutrition. An amazing choice for anyone, lonely or not. The secret to a happy family is Rat Pig Roundup Saturday. That's what I always say. <laughs> I feel bad for the Rat Pigs. First mates, apparently Vortigern came under attack in the middle of reconstruction. The place was completely sacked. Are you serious? Any idea who did it? They say it was a single demon. He called himself Lancelot de Capelus and challenged one exorcist in particular to come try and fight him. Lancelot. That's Count Capelus' first name. The nobleman they say was kidnapped? Did he turn into a demon? Or is this some kind of scheme? Hey. Any chance you know if the exorcist he wants to fight is Shigure? Yeah, he seeks a duel with Legate Shigure Rangetsu, or so the rumor goes. That's the real Count. That's a bit of a leap. The Count is a prideful man, but when the Abbey stole his political power, his own former servant Shigure rose to Legate and suddenly outranked him. The disgrace must have been worse than death. Then the lord your family used to serve was... That's right. The Kapaluses. Then... If the Kapaluses were the royal family's hidden dagger, the Rangetsu clan was its blade. A demon that can wipe out Vortigern is no joke. If we could team up with him, that'd give us a real edge. That's a real big if for some of us, Aizen. <sighs>
My time to shine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You want me in?
Victory is ours. Sheep egg, another ingredient for the Omega Elixir. All right, let's hurry and get this back to Videl. I'm not sure I've ever seen Luffy set so animated. He's never really lost anything, so he can still believe in hope. That's a dark way of putting it. Once he's confronted with reality, he'll change his tone. Are you certain? Yeah, everyone's like that. Then how do you explain yourself? You've lost. You've been hit hard by reality. You don't have any hope for anything. So why do you risk your life with this revenge business? Why the hell shouldn't I? There's no hope waiting for me on the other side of revenge. I know full well it won't fix anything or bring anyone back. But it's a damn sight better than sitting around doing nothing! And that's probably how Lafayette feels right now, too. I can't let go of all my anger and sorrow. And he can bring himself to stop holding on to hope. This is how far he'll go for his friends. You two are both illogical for sure. I suppose a dumb old demon like me doesn't quite feel the same need for action.
I was just getting warmed up. Not worth my time. <laughs> Stop fooling around. But I'm serious.
I see you've come, Shigure. Count Kapalus. It's been a long time. Oh, wait. Is that you, Rokuro? Leave now. You are not the one who I summoned here. I want your brother, the traitor Shigure. Sir, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Shigure's execution was assigned to me. Ha! <laughs> oh, please. Don't make me laugh. You had your chance. You couldn't even scratch him, you wretched dog. <clears throat> Frankly, I don't need any Rongetsu to do my bidding any longer. Not with the power that I've attained by devouring everyone in the entire manor. I shall administer your punishments myself, with my own hand. You're the one who devoured the people at the manor? How could you do that? <laughs> I never knew humans were so delicious. After I make a meal of you and the rest of those damnable exorcists, this will be my kingdom, my feeding ground! Welp, it looks like the only thing that got abducted was this guy's conscience. Remain there, Rokuro. Your lord commands you. Wait and be thankful that your blood will stain my blade beside your brother's. There's no reasoning with this guy. Wait. Rokuro? I refuse. If you simply wanted to eat flesh, then perhaps I wouldn't stop you. But dying to you would make a mockery of the Rangetsu name. Turn your blade on me or my brother and we won't hold back. Not even against an impotent lord. You! How dare you speak to your master like that! <laughs> You ungrateful cur! This cur has fangs. He's all too happy to use. Double hand! Double hand! way! Oh, you're Double hand! Double Double hate! Guys like Beguile! Double hate! Watch it! 
I'm sorry. I know you were hoping to negotiate an alliance. Don't worry. I don't think he's someone we could fight alongside. Come on, Rokuro. You wanted to kill him from the very start, didn't you? No. Well, maybe a little. So you did want to. You're a pretty scary guy when push comes to shove. Whatever happened to honoring your ancestral debt? I don't think I'm a hypocrite. My debt was made when I was human. That has nothing to do with the demon I am now. That's how you really look at it? I do. I incurred my debt toward you after I became a demon, and you can count on me to repay it. I'll take your word for it then. But Rokuro, when the Count said he was going to kill Lord Shigure, was that really something impossible to forgive? Hmm. How do I say it? I will kill anyone who disparages Arangetsu's skill. That's all. Ah, that's just nonsense. I'm sure I sound like the Count. I won't ask you to understand. Of course I don't understand. But still... I don't think it's nonsense. There are just some things a person can't surrender. Scout ship departed. 